Hi there, I'm Dr. Megan Bernard, owner and naturopathic doctor at the Bernard Integrative Cancer Center in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And right now I wanna to talk to you about my top five lab tests for cancer-related fatigue. So I often do these lab tests on people because it just so quickly rules in or rules out any of the top concerns or top causes for cancer-related fatigue or fatigue in general. So the number one thing that I do is probably B12. So I will test people's vitamin B12 through blood work because B12 is very important for making red blood cells. And red blood cells carry oxygen, and oxygen is part of making energy. So another one I do is ferritin, which you might know as a type of iron. And for the same reasons as I would test B12 is ferritin is really important for allowing oxygen to be carried as well. Means that, meaning that if you don't have enough ferritin, you don't have enough oxygen, and you don't have enough energy being produced. The third one I'm thinking of right now is vitamin D. And I think vitamin D is probably my favorite vitamin when it comes to cancer support. And there's just so much research out there showing how important vitamin D, adequate vitamin D levels are um, at improving outcomes in cancer, such as like improved quality of life, improved um, remission rates. So vitamin D, I would have to say vitamin D is actually the number one thing I test in practice. And it's so important for mood. It's important for like the way your body moves, your hormones, and of course, energy. So we wanna make sure that your vitamin D is optimal. So we did B12, ferritin, vitamin D. And another one I like to test is TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. And that can determine the uh, activity of your thyroid. So if your thyroid, your TSH is actually high, that means that you have an underfunctioning thyroid gland. What's even more important than TSH is probably measuring free T4. And free T4 is the actual active hormone that gets produced by your thyroid to have its effects on the tissues. Um, such as producing energy. So sometimes your TSH can look like it's at a normal level, but then if you test the free T4, it might be a little bit low. And that is often because you're missing certain cofactors that help to make that free T4, such as selenium, iodine, and iron. So we did B12, ferritin, vitamin D, TSH. I kind of snuck in free T4 there too. But the fifth thing that I often test in practice is morning cortisol. Morning cortisol is important because cortisol has kind of got a bad reputation as a stress hormone, but it's also important to be pretty high in the morning. It should be the highest in the morning to get you up and give you that oomph so you can have your energy throughout your day. If that's not at its peak in the morning, then that throws off the rest of your day too, meaning that the energy that's usually coming from the cortisol is also not reaching its peak throughout the day, so you can have low energy for the entire day. So that's it. That's my top five slash six uh, lab tests for uh, blood work. And I, again, it's just so important because it just so quickly rules in or out some of the top uh, causes of cancer-related fatigue. If you want any more information, any more support, reach out. I will help you in whatever way I can. You can email me or my team at info at drmeganbernard.com or give me a call at 1-902-877-0061. I look forward to meeting you.